This is the wash bubbling. You can see that the yeast is actively producing carbon dioxide, which in turn means it's creating alcohol. This is the alcoholic wash I'm hoping to distill um, later on and get some good spirit out of it. So this has been about 12 hours since I added the yeast. Which is in this 10 litre fermenter. However, this is a a, um, a lot bigger alternative. This is a beer fermenter. I usually use it for beer. This is the first time I've done a wash in it, and I was a bit worried that there might be some residual yeast that would contaminate, but it seems to be going pretty good. I mean, thoroughly clean before I used it. So, this is a wash here. It's got 6 kilos of sugar, 21 litres of water, turbo uh, triple distilled yeast, as well as the turbo carbon I think it's called or just the liquid carbon that's in there it's all mixed up um, it's been going for 12 hours as I said earlier and when I initially put it in it was about 33 degrees centigrade um, so it was a little bit too hot and there wasn't much fermentation going ahead but it took 12 hours with the aircon running getting the temperature just down um, and it's happily brewing away you can see how vigorously the yeast is creating carbon dioxide bubbles on the water. It's causing that rippling effect. And if I take this out, I might be able to see. to top that up with a bit more water uh, some of it spilled out there we go how much water can I actually put in the bubbler before it overflows so this will be exciting I think it's just going to pour out the top. Yeah, it's just pouring out the top. But when this level here gets down to here, that's when the bubble's going to happen. Alright, here we go, it's the suspense. <laughs> that was a good one. Alright, well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like, rate, comment, subscribe, because that's what they say on every YouTube video. I don't have a clue. I don't really care. Um, but yeah, hopefully you got some entertainment out of that. Thank you. Bye.